Hi guys, just thought I'd show this reverse bubbler thing here. Hook him up, I'll see how it's made there. Little domes the air. I've cut a little nick in here so the top doesn't matter if it gets blocked off by the top cup, the cover cup. When I undo the lid, what will happen is if I do it too quickly with, without this and only the one airlock, it would tend to suck air in through the out airlock and so to prevent that I've made this airlock here which draws air in down through the top, bubbles it up inside and then it takes it inside through the intake which is above the water so this is a reverse airlock. I'll demonstrate that by you'll see the bubbles in this stop when I quickly undo the clamp which um, reduces the capacity inside the uh, fermenter. When it's actually bubbling like that the expansion of the gas is kind to compensate for it but once the bubbling has stopped if I was to undo the clamp quickly it would increase the volume inside here and suck the water out of this bubbler if I didn't have this or some other manual way so you're able to see those bubbles there see how those bubbles stopped and then the level in, the, in this tube dropped as it, as it equalised the pressure I'm going to tighten the clamp, reduce the in, internal capacity, bubbling normally, reduce the capacity, a couple of bubbles here in this one. from some shot, plastic shot cups and um, plastic tubing. A couple of bits of beeswax to hold them up straight so they don't have to be glued, they can be removed easily. And there you have it. We'll also drill the hole and put a uh, temperature sensor in there for the thermometer. That'll be measuring the temperature of the gases in the top of the fermenter. Um, give me some kind of an idea of how it's operating with certain amounts of liquid in there at different stages. Okay, there it is. Thank you for watching.